Yay, it's pep time! Cried like no woman ever. Hi ladies, I'm Amber Petty and it's time for a little pap talk. Nothing's quite as embarrassing as a pap smear test. I mean, most of us would probably rather have an hour-long chemical peel than a 15-minute pap. I mean, there's no pap etiquette manual. There's no kind of songs that you can sing to get you in the mood. And I mean, what's the dress code? There's no right or wrong way to get a pap smear. The most important thing is that you get one. So you can walk into the office humming away. You can even bring in a little instrument, maybe a ukulele. I understand totally why people don't want to get a pap smear test. You don't want to find out that bad news. But I've had one of those tests come back with abnormal cells. But that actually ended up being great because if there was a problem, it meant that we'd caught it in time. A little bit like finding out your knickers are tucked into your dress before you leave the ladies' room. Then there's the heroes, the indestructibles. The ladies that'll tell you, no, that'll never happen to me. I'll never get HPV. Well, ladies, HPV actually happens to four in five people. So it's sort of as likely as cellulite or tuck shop lady arms. Okay, so let's look at the facts. Cervical cancer is caused by HPV. So some of you younger girls might think you're okay because you've been vaccinated. But that actually only covers you for two out of like a hundred strains. So, two of those strains, yes, they do equate for 70% of cervical cancer, but it still means you're at risk. So you have to have a regular check downstairs. Cervical cancer is as aggressive as a Boxing Day sale, and it's silent, so that means there's rarely any symptoms. It's a little bit like a deadly ninja setting up camp inside of you. Ladies, you need to take care of yourselves. So book your pap with your doctor and share this video with the girls you really love.